It is day one of Glamping Show Americas and here we are at the True Domes Dome, which is where we're going to spend most of our time, but we are going to take you around the whole show. And they've come with their seven metre dome here and I will take you and show you in. So they've come with their bathroom pod. So that's like all self-contained pod in there. And then they've got an anime stove, little seating area. But they've got flat bags of space for seating. And then bed in front of the bathroom. It's all styled by room and board. So they just came in and did all the styling. Kel, you can come in, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just on the vlog. <laughs> So after the, watching the setup day yesterday, we were really excited to see the cave. So the kids are desperate. We're going to go in and see it now. So the guys that build these are Universal Rocks, but the actual dome is from a company called Earth Dome. So it's two separate things, but they supply the dome and they can supply the rock outside. Um, let's go inside and show you. So it's absolutely beautiful here. It feels like you're in a proper cave, but they've also kept the side of the dome open so that you can have curtains and you can actually get the view, which is what the guy said to us. He wanted people wanted a view from it. So they've got a bath in here and then they've also got a nice little seating area, which is beautiful. So you've even got a cave shower room. So there's shower, sink and toilet in this little cave dwelling on the side, which is amazing. <laughs> So they're caving, what's the thing that I'm not included in this? Twenty is up here, they're caving on the food here, okay. So you can also get a whole like pond fountain pool kit, that's how much it is. Looks really cool to go with your rock dome. So you can also get a hot tub that looks like a rock, which I think is amazing. This is a yurt from Pacific Yurt. Now, what I love about the yurts in America, the fact that they've got so much more head height than any yurts that I've ever seen. Um, and there's like a little bathroom area around the back um, so that you've got en suite, basically. Um, but look at the height and the light in here, which is what I really love. And so, yeah, they, 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 these are Pacific yurts. Um, they've got all sorts of different types of yurts. I like it. So we're at DeWard, who were at the UK glamping show, but they've come with a completely different structure this time. So um, this one's, I'll show you from the outside, but it's a really cool configuration. This is the DeWard triple maple, that's it. So we've got loads of space for a lounge area. I guess that would be your kind of kitchenette area. Then you've got a bathroom in here and shower. And then the nice dining area with your kind of open deck area. And this is the double bedroom and then there's a double bunks in here so this is cedar bound so we saw these guys building this amazing timber frame structure and then they've got they've got this internal tent framework inside it which is really cool all right so we are cedar bound and this is a prototype of our new structure the tent uh, we typically specialize in hybrid tented cabins uh, but they're a little bit too large for us to bring to an event like this um, so this is the first of its kind of this tent. Uh, it's very similar to our hybrid structures. It has like, you know, scissor truss on the front and kind of that clean modern Scan Scandinavian vibe. Um, and this one that we're standing in is 18 by 20 feet wow, for the yeah. footprint. And you know, it typically goes for around 18K, um, but we're having a show special uh, where we have 10% off. All of yeah, uh, you know, all orders placed at the show. In addition uh, well, to this one, this yeah, we are selling this one fully furnished as well. Oh wow, okay. For twenty three seven nine nine, I believe. So okay. Everything that you see in here, yeah. for the most part, uh, apart from signage and things, would yeah. be included with that. Uh, so yeah, we're hoping not to take it home. No, <laughs> it's amazing. I've never seen anything, anything like this, like with the timber frame and the canvas. It's oh, it's thank beautiful. You. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So this is Plainscraft, which is the first of our traditional wagons. So this is the smaller one. This one just has beds in it with no um, shower room. So it's got a double bed on the bottom and a single bed on the top, which is really cool. And it can get a nice little table and chairs in as well. So perfect just for a glamping setup. Do it. <laughs> I'm training him up, yeah. Can you open the bathroom door for me, William? Go and open the door. Oh. There's a full bathroom, well, a shower room, I think, in here. Yeah, wow, look at that. Cool. So this is $57,000. 
and it's fully insulated as well which is amazing and there's all these different options of floor plans as well that you can do so i've got all the information if you need any so we're in the crossover lodge which was at the uk glamping show um so they've got the same setup for the us glamping show it looks very nice um, I think if we go around the other side, then you'll find the bathroom pod. <laughs> Pretty, um, I can't use the bathroom. You know, so there's that one. Um, also, I've also got a bigger one here. They didn't have at the UK glamping show this, so this is absolutely massive. Let's show you inside this one. This is cool. I would say like the ladder go all so the way up. There's a shower room in the here, center. And then a wall goes up here, so you know. And then, and then bedroom. Nice view here. It's like a, it's and then you've got the bed. dining area and yeah. the kitchen out here. And there's uh, another bedroom in here with triple bunks. So that is cool. So the medium's up to four people, the large is up to five people. So we're at Dewards Big Oak, which looks like this. It's kind of, it's kind of like a sail shape. Um, let me pop in here. Are you able to let me know a price on how much this is roughly ballpark? Are you building it in the UK? Are you building it in the States? I'm in the UK, but okay. it's good to get a comparison. Okay, so this is 22,000 US dollars. Um, what they were just telling me was that the price is the same whether you're in pounds or in dollars because um, somebody was asking me, are the prices cheaper at the US mounting show? The answer is, for this particular tent, no, because they just convert it. But it might actually be more expensive in US dollars because of the import duty because they're importing it into the US. There's a bathroom in here, well, a shower room, so a shower would go there. What's this? It would be a shower. It's a shower. They just don't have a head. Yeah. Okay, this is brand new on me, Azure printed homes. So they're 3D printed homes. My daddy made this 3D printed structure from recycled bottles. Help daddy make more glamping is by giving your plastic bottles. That's mental. How do you make this out of plastic? I have no idea. So you'd get a double bed in here already, wouldn't you? I think. Window. Wowzers. So this is the um, 3D printed one. So the prices are on there. I can't read them in a minute. So yeah, they can <laughs> they can pretty much make any size because they just fit modules together. So the 180 is 180 square feet. It's amazing. Here you go, here's a proper tiny home, although actually it's not that tiny, it's actually massive. Um, so these are Cavco. There you go. Let's even go inside. Thank you, that's so kind of you. Wow, look at this bedroom. I mean, this, this is not glamping. This is tiny homing. I'm gonna call it tiny homing now. That's nice. Like fire, TV. We've got another bathroom, shower room. This is a triple bunk. This, oh, this is actually a triple bunk, I don't know you're right. Oh wow, there's little stairs to get up. That is amazing. I love, I'm loving the mountainy bear theme. Super cool. And there's the kitchen. Wow. Right, let me go up the stairs on the outside. Up to the terrace area. Oh wow, this is nice. TV out here too. Amazing. From here we get a really excellent view over the whole glamping show. Are these are the this is the info. No, you don't have to. What? You don't have to pay for no. Info on the cabin. So this is 150,000 US dollars, um, but it is amazing. I love it. I would live in here by myself quite happily. Although the guy did point out it has triple bunks. So we saw Eco Domes or Echo Dome, I didn't I never found out how you pronounce it, at the Glamping Show UK. They just had their one which dome do they have at the UK one? They had this one, I think. Um, so they've come to the US show with three domes. Um, so this one's a fully complete dome, which we'll go and have a look in, in a minute. Um, so this one you can see, so you can see the thickness of the insulation you can put in. Um, 
So you can see inside this is massive, this dome. So they've staged it a bit more than they had for the UK show. Let's go inside. So this looks cool because it's got the wooden effect. Well, you filmed this one already? Yeah, but I did a bad job. So. Oh, okay. I mean, I didn't try to. So yeah, I like, I like this. I like the fact that the window is all, you can have the window panels wherever you want really. So you can have whichever parts of the window you want. Nice, okay. So this is normally 11,600. This is a 16 foot. Um, or we can get a 22 foot, which is normally 49,380. So here is Secret Creek. No, what they're called? Yeah, Secret Creek Earthworks teepees. So this is a proper traditional teepee and it's got all your kind of painting on the side. There's like moon and stars up there somewhere, I think, at the back. Oh, I see, so you open it up with these poles here. Oh, there's the moon. So inside. So this is also Secret Creek with their kind of safari tent. This has got a big main beam. And then double bed and bunk bed. So you could put a bathroom pod in here or whatever, I would imagine. Kind of package, $7,372. So what I'm enjoying about the US glamping show is they have other things other than the structure. So they've got like outdoor furniture. Um, they've got random things over there like um, fitness equipment ow William, William um, and other bits and pieces which we haven't actually explored yet um, this is room and board here who are the ones that did the interiors of True Dome's Dome so they'll style places and I also think they sell furniture but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure so this is new on me this is heated furniture so what we've decided is that it's plugged into the electric and as you sit down, you get a warm bump. <laughs> Comfy, isn't it? No? Don't like it? Too hot. <laughs> but if you're outdoors and you're trying to enjoy, yeah, you're trying to enjoy the outdoors, it's nice and warm. Uh, We're you know, at I didn't even see that. and <laughs> Oh, you just whacked your head. There you go, that is all the information there. Here we are at a mirrored cabin. I mean, these are definitely growing in popularity, although, yes, there are the issues of the birds going in them. Um, but let's see if we can go in. It's very busy. So it's rather beautiful inside, actually. Yeah. So you've got a nice double bed in here, some glass. And then you've got kitchen, sofa area. So this is the bathroom area. It's all very black and beautiful. Nice. So we are at um, Wild Wilding. Wilding. There's a QR code. Should you require it? So in Camp Solutions USA, they have got a two-story safari tent, which is epic. Let's go inside here. So you've got a kitchen area. And then sofa area because obviously you've got all this space for living because the bedrooms are upstairs. <laughs> Mind my children who are completely fed up and killing each other. So there's a massive, I've never seen a bathroom this massive in a tent. Have you? Never ever. Now to the next story. Let's go on up. Right, have you ever, yeah, it's got three be bedrooms, like all outside, uh, how cool is that? So you've got a double bed in here, I love this. Sleep six. Sleep six, yeah, because you've got Seasonal twin beds in here. And then another twin beds in here. And then obviously you've got the good views. Views over the glamping show. 
This is the Colorado tent, denvertent.com. So the canvas is of the teepee is about $2,000. And then the poles are probably under 500, but you'd want to get them sourced locally, basically. But it's by local timber, right? Um, so yeah, this is really cool. So what size is this? this 16 one is foot. 16 foot. Wow. And they go from 8 foot up to 30 foot. Oh Imagine wow. Imagine having something twice as big diameter. It yeah. must be like four times as large. That'd be, That'd be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's awesome. And you can have a fire right in the center and smoke goes right out the smoke flash. No way. So I could have a full bonfire? Oh yeah. We sold one to a guy 22 foot. He has an 8 foot bonfire in the center. That sounds frightening. Yeah. <laughs> Does a 30 footer have multiple entrances? They can. I mean this one could have multiple entrances. Yeah. Yeah. It's mostly just a front door, back door. Yeah. Cool. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hope you get a lot of views. Thanks. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys also have a safari tent. William, can you? Oh, you can even get a safari tent for your dog. So we're at Groovy Yurts, Authentic Mongolian Yurts, so obviously Yurts do give me palpitations but I'm still going to take you in because it's worth a look. These are very slightly different from ours. Come on in, welcome. All right, I don't mind if I film. <laughs> Sorry I interrupted you. Go ahead. I was just going to ask how it does with snow load. Do you get a lot of snow? Yeah. Uh, for Alaska, very beautiful. Go, this one is... We've uh, done the dance to be a little higher. As long as I have to build it, I'm happy. So I feel like we're at Outstanding. I'm not sure if this is Outstanding as well, but let's go in. It's like a lozenge shaped half dome. Oh, it's got a roller door. Oh, that's cool. So this is $9,000. Um, and then it goes up to about twelve thousand dollars because they have got insulation for it, which is really good. And this is not outside; this is eye camping. William's got a million dollars; he can literally buy everything here. Happy days. It's fake. What a shame. So this is outstanding safari tent. Let's take you in. So I love these because they've got like a little cabin up there. And then, ah, oh, this little den. That's cool. Okay, it's another den. And then you've got a double bed. And then you've got plenty of storage. And you've got a kitchen. And nice shower. And then you've got bunk beds in here, so you can, this can sleep six. So you've got a whole fridge. And then, yeah, I'm loving that, that's cool. And then you do a dining area. this is our show offer for the tent as you see it here. Uh, this one completely, as you see it here, it's about $38,000. Uh, yeah, for this tent, we have a show offer for the tent. So this is like a still house, I suppose. Glamping Supply Company. What, upstairs? No, in the uh, Oh, really? So this is just a tent on a platform, basically. So I guess you could get a bed up here or do your ballet, whatever you want. <laughs> okay, interesting. This is a tiny glamping pod. So this is, this is the Knotty Glamping Pod from Glamping Supply Company. So it's like those barrel saunas you get, but they've actually turned it into a living space. So that's the kind of price you're talking about. Can I get up to bed? I feel like... I want to go in. <laughs> Do you think that's like a kid's bed? Or is that storage? Den. I don't know. Den? You'd have it as a den, obviously. Yeah. Oh, oh. More, more storage. Oh, that's good. Jumping supply company. Cool. So this is Life in Tents, Zephyr and Lisa Bell Tents. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's just the styling. I mean, a bell tent's a bell tent. When you style it so beautifully, it's lovely. Lovely, lovely. So we're at Tent House Structures and they've got this rather beautiful looking safari tent structure. Let's have a look. I love this massive decking area. 
This is really cool. It's like got a stretch tent basically on the side of it. Lounge, bedroom. Oh, and then you step through into like a separate tent, which has got the toilet in a separate area. I haven't got it. And then we've got double sink. This is rather nice. And demonstrating the shower is Annabelle Jones. I haven't got it, William. Yes, this is, this is nice, apart from the trick here. Oh. I haven't got it. So this yurt is not like any yurt I've ever seen. This is from Freedom Yurt Cabins. And it's like kind of composite, I think. And it's absolutely massive. Wow. This is cool. How are you folks? Good, thank you. This is not like any yurt I've ever been in. <laughs> no, we actually we actually have the only solid wall kit in the world. Oh, so do you're basically you? ending up with a four season cabin in the shape of a yurt when it's all set up. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Because we used to have yurts. Yeah. And now we have domes on yeah. our glamping site. But um putting up yurts. I, it gives me PTSD, like it's so <laughs> stressful. Whereas this, I saw you guys building it yesterday, it looked like yeah, it was quite yeah, easy to go up. It's and easy to put up. Yeah. yeah. So this is OOTW Structures. No, that's not true. This is OOTW Experiences. Let's have a look in this dome. Hello, just checking out the dome oh, yeah. competition. <laughs> So this is cool. This is like a wooden frame day. Good, thank you. Are you alright if I film? Sorry. Yeah. Of course you're fine. Yeah. Cool. Oh, you're a black person. Yeah. So the frame of this is made of bamboo, so it's really sustainable, and the floor's made of bamboo as well. So yeah, all these, pa all these, all, all bamboo. And these panels, these panels are insulated, so you've got like an insulation layer in these panels, which is really good. I love it. Thanks, guys. So they're giving me a brochure, so if you need any info, just give me a shout. So this is the vessel. Now, I think this looks like something out of Star Wars. <laughs> Do you think so? Hi, let's go inside. <laughs> Wow, this is amazing. So it's just all the glass, that's what I love. And you've got a little deck area out there. I don't know actually. Wow, like, for grown kids. It's quite a nice. Uh, uh, got a good full bathroom in there. Well, they, they shift too. Yeah. Yeah. So they have like reverse, they have like first gear, second gear, or high yeah. or something. I've never driven one, but there they're crazy. This is amazing. I mean, they get going pretty good. Right. So that is a wrap for the glamping show day one. Uh, we're having major fly issues. They're literally everywhere. So they've put a fly paper. Oh, there's been up for two minutes of fly paper. It's mad. So we're packing up and heading off. Um, and we're going out for dinner. It is day two, the sun is shining again. And we are at our first one that we didn't see yesterday. So this is Neo Vita. And it's made with coffee bean husk. I mean, they've really got some innovative stuff here. Um, so let's have a look in this tiny home. There's, they're not furnished or anything, it's just kind of to show you the structure. They've done it so they've got like a mezzanine. No, it's coffee beans, Liam. Oh, it's windy, isn't it? A little bit, thank you. <laughs> okay, so it's coffee bean husk. It's coffee bean husk and recycled plastics. Uh, okay. We started as a decking company. This one oh, you're standing okay, on is yeah. a coffee bean husks and recycled plastics deck. Wow, okay. If you come over here, these are the actual husks that we use for the fiber. Oh, I this see. Ones. Yeah. So we take the waste of the coffee industry. They only use the beans to provide you the delicious coffee that we all love. Yeah. So we buy their waste, which are these shells. We infuse them with recycled PET plastics, which is your plastic bottles, which oh, end up okay. polluting the most in the ocean. Yeah. So they're the worst. So we turn them into this. Um, these are 
Coffee Bean Hoss recycle plastics and they already come with polyethylene insulation that's okay. injected. And our system is kind of like Lego blocks. Yeah. In the building. So you have your frame, slide your board, and then it just drops in and then pops your uncle. That's so clever. So what's the frame made out of? Is that the frame is made out of galvanized steel and it's powder coated in black. Oh, so okay. This house is rated for category five hurricanes. Um, extreme weather temperatures or windows are double profiled so you keep some nice insulation yeah. because it makes no sense of having really good insulation on walls and having and no windows yeah, in yeah. profile. Yeah. So it is fully customizable and fully modular. So okay. the beauty about our system is you put a frame, you slide your blocks, you yeah. close your arch yeah. and then you can keep going as far as you want. Wow, okay. What's the kind of cost of the panels? The, the, this is the big house, not the half. Yeah. It's a 500 square foot unit. Yeah. Unit. It has a main bedroom, a lofted bedroom, kitchen, living room, and a bathroom. Yeah. And they start around $62,000. Okay. With this double... Yeah, so similar to the, what the picture is here. Exactly. This is what it looks like on the inside. Huh? Yeah, that's beautiful. And this is what the house looks uh, like fully okay. built on yeah. the inside. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, I'm so impressed. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I really, really want one of these in Ocam, I think it is. But William. Face, William, off, off. Oh. Oh. No, he's fine. He's absolutely fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go on then. Yeah. Um, gently, very gently. Do you want to open it? So this, I want one of these. I really, really want one of these. I don't know how much it is. I just want one. <laughs> so this is Glatt USA. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I feel like... Oh, no. Um... This is a tiny home here. Is it in Ocam? I'm not really sure. Let's have a look. As it's in Ocam and glad, glamping atmospheres. So we've got kitchenette outside, which is quite cool. Let's go inside. So we've got a living area. So this is the bathroom area, shower, shower room. And then there's a bath. A, what is this? A bedroom. This is a bedroom. Got really confused. Why did you get confused? So this is Timber Hut. Five cents. They've got a rather beautiful outdoor kitchen area, which is all undercover. So I really like that. And they've got another separate like cabana outside with a fire pit, which is also really cool. Oh, How are you? Good, thank you. So, oh, kitchen. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to confuse me. Well, it's a big shower. It's massive. It's bigger than our shower at home. <laughs> so this is a, that's a, Induction hub, is it? Yes, induction hub through the countertop, so when you're not using it, it gives you that extra countertop space. That's amazing! So then it opened Wow, I've never seen that before. Right, so it's done on 12 millimeter porcelain. Yeah. Right, so the kids can, you know, safely put their hands up yeah. and around it on there, not have to worry about burning themselves. You've got the, full, you know, you've got your fridge all built in. Yeah. On there, your full That's an amazing cabinet. like kitchenette because it's so compact, but you've got the hob, you've still right. got worked up space. Correct. So you got everything you want, but what's nice again, don't have to worry about the kids burning themselves. You trust me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, come here. Put your hand up here and go and touch right there. So it's just literally been boiling on there and now it's fine. Is that, did that, is that hot? No. It gives you a cool touch and it gives you that extra countertop space all yeah. the same time. Wow. Cool, isn't it? That is genius. Amazing. So I love it. Can we move in here? <laughs> so yeah, so, so bed and you've got all that outside living space as well. Um, it's beautiful. So where are we? We are at Timberhut. Let me just take the card. Timberhut. Bigger there's the details. Timberhut.com. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Right, we got to go back to work now. I like these two. This is cool. And the nice egg chairs. I really like them. Who are? Where are we? Quickly. We are at Global Glamping, okay? Global Glamping. Looks cool. Global Glamping also have a tent here. This is very beautiful. 
um, steel framed safari tent. So we're at Eco Structures, which are an Australian manufacturer as far as I'm aware. Um, so we're just going to pop in this similar to a safari tent. Um, ah, so we've got a double bed here, mind you, chip up. And then central pole. And then we've got the double bunk. There. And this is their bigger one. So this has got the big bedroom in the middle. We can have this as a living room, presumably. And then. <laughs> Bunk beds, zippy curtains, and they've got the bathroom in the back here. So we've come into the expo hall now, which is much bigger than the glamping show in the UK. Um, yeah. yeah, we've come with a camera if that's all right. And you're filming the whole thing? Yeah, we are, yeah. Um, so yeah, the kids got a ride on this uh, yesterday. Yeah, the green one. So it's very exciting. <laughs> My name is Michael. I am one of the uh, hospitality business coaches for Breast Nexus. Essentially, a booking system is the basis of it, it isn't it? It is. Yeah. So fundamentally, we are the property management software yeah. to set up the site itself and then the booking engine online yeah. that people can use. And then we also, again, with the thing back there, we tie into a lot of the OTAs, the yeah. Airbnbs, Verbos, Lamping Hubs, all those sort of sites yeah. that we can get more customers coming in. Okay. And we'll be a central calendar yeah. to kind of traffic cop all so of those. So you don't get your double bookings. Make sure there's no double bookings. Yeah. And we will communicate your pricing out, yeah. including with yield management, that you can do some things to automatically adjust your rates based on your current occupancy and stuff. Okay. And then those updated rates are immediately communicated to all those OTAs as well. So the And what I like is that you've got an app for, haven't you? And there is a phone app yeah. as well for which both iPhone it. and for Android. Yeah, which makes it yeah. nice and easy. Amazing, thank you ever so much. So, You're Res, very so what's the website? It's resnexus. Resnexus.com. R E S, like reservation. Yeah. Nexus in the Yeah, I'll go and zoom in on that. So, Davis Tent are actually in here, so they've got a little tent set up in here. Just in case you want to have a safari tent. Um, let's whisk through here. Right, who else we got? Um, we've got American Glamping Association, so obviously if you've got a glamping site in America, then you can join the American Glamping Association. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it, but um, it might be worth looking into. Ticket chocolate is the reason that my kids wanted to come in here, because there's rumours that there's smalls going on. So they've got a smalls pit set up, where you can come and toast yeah, you your smalls. So ticket chocolate. So what does Ticket Chocolate do? Do you do like s'mores kits? Yeah, so we do all sorts of chocolate confections. Uh, okay. And marshmallows and caramels and stuff like that. We're yeah. at the clamping show, so we're talking s'mores kits. Now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, yeah, that makes sense. These, oh, are, this the, is all the these are our service for four s'mores kits. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Yeah. So a lot of our customers will either sell them as an add-on for their clamping oh, destination yeah. or like part of their welcome kit. Yeah, so we've right? got an honesty shop, so you could put them in the honesty yeah. shop sure. or something like that, yeah. Yep. Exactly. Do you want okay, to grab a skewer? Okay, all sorts of different stuff. Okay, does he want it in a full s'more? Oh, I have no idea. We don't do really do s'mores in England. Okay, well, we're going to give you the American experience. <laughs> the American experience of s'mores? I mean, yeah. we, 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 we try it. We try it with a chocolate to a biscuit, but it's not the same as the uh -huh. yeah, because they're graham crackers, aren't they? These, yeah, yeah. you want to get it nice and gooey so it spreads and it yeah. melts the chocolate. My daughter's missing out, so I'm gonna have to come back. Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> bring her back. Oh, you're you're looking good there. Yeah, that's good. There's that's good. So, what we're gonna do is you're gonna put that marshmallow on the chocolate and then we're gonna. I mean, this is a proper lesson from Go an American. Pull it out, pull out that stick. How to make a proper small. Okay. And now, you can just, it's going to be messy and gooey, but we got some, uh, we got uh, some wet she's, wipes. She's arrived, oh, she's she ready is. for the smalls. There she is. <laughs> so I'm just going to whiz through the hall while I'm eating smalls. So we've got Century Chemical Court. Well, I don't, I don't know. We've got something else, how are you fun of that? Um, waste treatment, no, William. Hospitality, management services, reservation services, new media, ABR, Pilot Rock, I think that's stuff made out of metal, camp spot, not sure, not sure, Michael Best, Fireside Lodge Furniture, 
I think that's kind of shop solutions. Hyperbaric chambers, everyone needs one of those. Um, oh, that's a cool A-frame. Look at that. That's beautiful. Sorry, I've got Marco Smalls, but this is Zook Cabins. And they've got these beautiful A-frames. I love it. I'll just move in here now. So there is another A-frame outside which we're going to go have a look at in a minute, which is much bigger. Oh, we've already seen that. Right, I'm really sorry, I'm still whizzing. Waterproof mattresses, Glitz Camp USA, um, water technologies, modular structures, pumps, outdoor hospitality brokers, shower systems, mattresses, internet. <laughs> so you do internet. <laughs> Lunchtime, isn't it? Yeah, really good. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we know you want a problem. Um, right, what else have we got? Um, software. There's another yurt here. Let's go whiz inside this yurt. Who is this yurt by? Now this is the, this is a proper yurt. The fact that you've got such head height. Like, look at the height. Go and stand over there, Annabelle, so we can show the height. So Annabelle's about five foot. So it's like way bigger. Like, oh yeah, it just came to just above her head. Whereas this is each has got like massive amounts of height, which is super cool. Look um, outdoors. Where's Nexus we just spoke to? So this is the sort of stuff we've got inside. Um, so this is the cabins there outside A-frame. Um, which I think looks rather beautiful. Let me take you inside. So we've got a nice big bed, like all that light coming in. <clears throat> oh, these are good flying. Um, again, a lovely massive bathroom. Shower room, shower room. Um, so I love that. And then what is beautiful is this massive window. Sorry. So you've got this sofa area. TV, not you need a TV when you've got a beautiful view. Yeah, it probably would be. And then the kitchen. It's really beautiful. Really beautiful. It's fine, I know what I'm doing. Love it, love it, love it. I said that a lot. I love it, I love it. Um, let me just show you from the outside. It's a bit bright, but you've got this kind of A frame. I love the lights inside. That's, you just can't tell, but so that's kind of outside a bit. But this is Harmony Domes. You only saw something cool, did you see? Okay. Right, just. So they've got a. So you come in, they've got their bathroom pod here. Um, so there's the bar. This is an actual bathroom, I can say bathroom now. And then you've got a mezzanine level. Can you sneak up there and just. How much? Twenty pounds. That's for this pound. Twenty pounds per square inch. Yes. Right. Thank you. It's got like a cool double. Like it's right, a cool so big double bed. A cool big double bed. Okay. And then you've got a sofa area. And then the insulation's really interesting, actually. And then they've got like the kind of kitchen area around here. So this is also Deward Round Holly. This one's called. So this is a geodome. We saw this one at the UK glamping show, um, but they, yeah, so it's, it looks a bit different in the US. Um, they've got the rolled up bath in the front, actually they might have had that, I can't remember. The styling is different anyway. And they've got the bathroom pod at the back. Um, let's just show you. Bathroom, you need to put a shower somewhere, or put a shower there, maybe a toilet over there. Um, so yes, this is the wards dome and they've got this kind of canopy 
out here, which yeah. is quite nice. So, they already spent like so this home is 22,000 US dollars. I'm presuming you can add on bits and take it away, but that's the base for this dome. So this is Bush Tech Safari. They were at the glamping show in the UK in, I want to say like 2018, and I haven't been back since, but I think their structures are really cool. So let me show you. So they've got this kind of outside area, so they've got the mesh, and you can roll this mesh down. Um, they're from South Africa. And then you've got all this amazing way to open the sides up, and open any of the sides up. So they've kind of got the safari vibes going. Let me show you the brochure, the Shtek Safari, I mean their stuff looks really beautiful, it's a very nice brochure. Um, so you've got kitchen area here, the world's biggest bed, I mean not big for America but big for the UK. And then, sorry, alright I can sneak in. Um, um, and I would hazard a guess that this is the biggest bathroom that I have seen in a glamping structure. Would you agree? It's gigantic. If I just come and stand over here. Ta-da! It's humongous! So you could separate this off and have a bedroom and a bathroom, but who doesn't want an amazing bathroom and a glamping tent? So this is also Bush Tech Safari. Let me whip in. Yeah, these are awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that desk. That's cool, isn't it? So they've got a kitchenette, bedroom, TV. Are you from there though, or? And this bed sticks out. And then another big, big bathroom for a tent. But they've clad the roof, which is quite cool. And it smells nice in here. There's the candle over okay. Probably. Conestoga Wagon Co. So they've got like a whole little wagon village going on here. So these are the showers or toilets, I think. Oh, there's a the shower house over there. They've got some beautiful traditional wagons. So we'll take you in this wagon. So I love it. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, they're cool. And then you've got a shower room in here. Oh, that's cute. There's the boiler. Okay, it's cleverly hidden. It looks like um our what? Like our thing. Yeah, it does a bit, yeah. But more there's more. More marbly. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. So we're at yeah, comes to the wagon. So this is beautiful little tiny house. I love it. I love it. So you've got a nice big bed. You've got a TV, mini split, fridge. And then behind here is the bathroom, shower room. Beautiful. So I love the whole theming of these wagons. So you've got the shower house. So you've just got individuals. So you, then you'd have your own private bathroom still, which is nice. You've each got a shower room, so that does three showers, easy peasy. And then I didn't... But look at the front of it. It's like an old one. I know, it is, it is. Yeah, we'd have to theme it all. And then you can even have like a bar. I mean, how amazing would this be for events? Just to have like your massive bar service and like, yeah, happy beer. You can see, see you've got a lot of front Yeah, you do, yeah, yeah. And the nice canopy over. Yeah. Stuff. The OD Martin house. From OD. Okay. We're like, so you do mirrored houses. So this is absolutely amazing. Like it just sort of blends into the background. Let's show you in. So it's nice black cladding. This is a sauna. <gasps> no way. So you have a whole little sauna. Yeah. And then this is the main mirrored cabin and then oh it's just got a lovely little bed in it okay i'm going to take you in f domes although i've gone incognito i've taken my trio's badge off because i'm not sure they're going to be happy um but we're going to go and see if we're allowed to film in f domes so what i like about this is they've got their like fold like bifold doors here they've got 
bed over there. Mezzanine level kitchenette. Am I right to come in and film? Is that okay? Thank you. So then let's come around here. So they've got the ladder up to the mezzanine there. And then bathroom pod. This insulation is cool, isn't it? Interesting the way they've done the insulation. It's cool. And then the bed's around here. So you get quite a lot in here. I wonder what size this thing is. So here's the price list. And then here's Let me just run down that. Okay. What size dome is this? This 26. Yeah, 26 feet. Yeah. 26 feet, okay. Cool. I don't know what huge. that is. Huge. It is huge. Is what? Eight metres, is that? That's exactly it. Okay, cool. So I'm doing it. UK. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, So F domes have a second dome. Um, so yeah, that was the eight metre. This one, I think, might be a seven, but don't quote me. Huh? Oh, yeah. So they've got. Um, like all the stuff. Yeah, the like we got the doors all the different colours of insulation and stuff like that. And like they've got like the, door the way you can door. fold up the top as well. We got everything from A to Z, like oh. a solar fan. That's a solar fan there. Now that's oh, quite cool, having a shower pod off it. So it's like attached so that then you don't use utilise the space in here by having by taking up with the bathroom. So I'm gonna go around and look at the outside because that's confused me. Confused by this. Oh so it's literally like a box. So it's just stuck on the back and that's quite clever. I like that. So in another year, again it's got the head height that we just don't have in the in the proper Mongolian yet, so it's got a dome. Yeah, at the top. Um, I don't know where we are, I'm really sorry. We're in Living Intent Yurt Co. I just think they're so much better because you just get so much more space. Hmm? Um, right, here's the price list. I think. Yeah, so you can base price like $11,200, which is pretty good. Um, let me just show you a card. Think about buying it, yeah? Yeah, no, I'm not, but you know, I still love it. It's cool. Let me just show you the outside. So this is Hecopia Tiny House, designed in France, made in the USA for glamping. This is what I would say is the nearest to a shepherd's hut that they've got at the US glamping show. Um, so you've got a nice dining area. Most of them have got TVs. Um, kitchen. And they come through, you've got bunk beds in the, right in the middle with the toilet. Hi, Shower, hiya. I think you guys are staying in our hotel. So this is the outside of it. So it's very shepherd's house, but it's bigger. Um, and I've got all the info here if you would like anything. So this is White Duck. They have got a beautiful bell tent. It's really big, this one. I feel like this might be like a seven meter maybe, or six meter, I'm not sure. It, it, I like the awning on it as well. That gives a really nice finish to it. So we've got about an hour left of the glamping show Americas. I'm fairly shattered. I've spoken to a lot of people. It's been it's been really good fun. I've absolutely loved it. And hopefully I have shown you guys as much as I possibly could of everything. There were so many structures. I'm sorry if this is a really long video, I'll stop wittering. Um, if, honestly, if you have any questions about anything you've seen at all, please leave them in the comments and I can find all the information out for you. So just give me a shout. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And we will probably see you at the NEC for our next trade show, which will be the Farm Business Innovation Show and Holiday Park Innovation Show. If you want to keep um, an eye on that, then subscribe to the channel. And we will see you then.